Which abilities beat a Moab? I'm not much of an ability guy myself, so this one could be a little tough, and it's only a 2 percenter, which is already kind of crazy. And we have to take down around 60 BFB with 2,000% health and ceramic health. So my go-to ability would be Tech Tear, but that thing costs too much on its own. So then my second choice would be Rocket Storm for sure. And oh, you can use other towers. Okay, you just can only probably use the middle path, I would imagine. So then it doesn't really matter. All right, so then we're gonna rocket storm. See, well, it's like stalling it. Has it always done that? Is that like a new monkey knowledge? Oh, but we have unlimited abilities too. That's pretty awesome. But that one's not even gonna be close, even if it was over and over and over. But why is it stalling it like that? Has that always been a thing? And we can sell too. So I'm just gonna keep Moab assassinating. That has to be it. And then for the cleanup, we'll just go with uh, Maelstrom, right? That's That should be pretty simple. Well, it's not just a simple cleanup, huh? We have to do other things. So maybe we need two of these guys. That's probably what it is. Because can we have two? Oh yeah, we can. Okay. So it's definitely going to be that. And then we can knock them all down. Then maybe Maelstrom. That could be a pretty clean plan. Two is definitely better than one. We can all agree with that. But it's not going to be... Oh my gosh. Okay. So even if we got that down, I don't think that's going to be the answer. It's just too much for us. Maybe something just straight down the middle right here. But we don't have $21,000. And we're not going to get $21,000. So I'm a little curious on that one. I thought maybe be this one for a second. But we could only have two. And that's not going to work. I thought maybe I could just put 10 of them out there since we have so much money left. We're not even close to special poperations, right? Yeah, nowhere. So we could freeze it, drop this ability. I don't, the freezing really didn't matter though, huh? We can glue strike it and then what? Keep Moab assassinating it, I guess. Just keep Moab assassinating it, right? But that's that didn't work last time, so why would it work this time? What if we super Maelstrom over and over and over? We don't have super Maelstrom, that's why. What if we just do a bunch of them? I'm trying to think like if we just had a Moab assassin down here and then this guy over there, but he's really not doing anything. His damage is so little, it's kind of pathetic actually. So we can balloon sabotage, that'll keep him going slow, and then we could quickly, I mean quickly, buy one of these guys and then go like that. And now he's gonna be a lot slower, I think, right? Or when you sell him, does it go away? No, right? Oh no, it, it was actually stayed slow. That was pretty awesome. And now if we do this again, so we just go like that and we slow that one down. And then we go like this, and then we go like this. Oh my gosh, okay, so it's gonna be something wicked like that. It has to be. There's also a double turbo charge. These guys are pretty wicked, but not good enough at all, huh? On their own, they're so bad. You need that bottom path to give it that firepower, literally, because this is just getting a thousand each. So they're definitely the lowest so far, I think. So unless I'm missing something, I feel like it's going to be a quick draw McGraw kind of thing where we just got to go fast. Now, at the same time, what if it's just a joke? What if it's they're kidding with us and we just needed to use this guy the whole time and then this one at a dark shift? Because like this guy has the whole range and if he's good enough, I mean, well, actually, you we don't even need to do anything else. You just keep going on his own, huh? But we could, I guess, just put him here just because and then just keep the attacking coming. Doesn't even break the first layer. That was ridiculous. I definitely think this is the best way to do it and then keep hitting at these ones and then put another one. Why is my finger so slow? Definitely think these two are the best way to do it. And the problem is though, I'm just really, really, really bad at microwing. So we're just gonna do it old fashioned style, just, just like that. And then what I think we'll do is we'll sell this one and then quickly put down a ninja and then do another slow down one if we can. I hope so anyway, there we go. And then go like this, slow it down. And then that's just too fast though, huh? It's too fast even if we slow it down. So what can we do just to knock it out of the park? Maelstrom's not gonna cut it. Elite Sniper's not gonna work. I had no idea this guy like does some kind of like buckshot hit now. That's a new thing for me. But even so, it's not even close to cutting it. And he's one of the most expensive out in here. That's just what's weird to me. Kind of stupid actually. What if it's not even an ability? What if it's the crit monster? And it's not because he's not even at a thousand yet. And he's already around the whole track. So I was trying to get Unstable Concoction and totally went way too far with this one. What if it's just him? Could be, right? What if we had two of them? Oh, we don't have $5,400. Okay. But this can go on forever. And as long as it's just okay, I guess. Uh, still, not even a thousand by the end of it. So it's not good. Not good at all. What I'm trying to think is I'm really bad with Unstable Concoction. You guys all know that. So what I would like to do is to see if Unstable Concoction can actually do anything. So I'm going to throw that one, hit that ability, hit this button here 20 minutes later. Oh my goodness. Wow. I could literally gone up, gone to the bathroom, had dinner and come back before I put those towers down. But I want to see if it goes down past Moab's right now. 
We can't even take him down to ceramics. No, there's not even close. And Unstable Concoction did nothing. Okay, we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna actually drop the ability. But the problem is the ability takes way too long. But I think I went pretty fast this time, or fast enough, right? And then I didn't, I didn't, of course. And I just gotta keep going with it. Oh, it's not even close. We only got one life. This is a really, really hard one for me. This is so difficult. So I'm trying glue and assassin this time. And it really, I don't think it matters. I don't think it's actually slowing it down. It's, or it actually is going a lot slower, huh? But look at that, 8,000 damage, and we thought 1,000 damage was gonna do it. That's what's silly to me. We didn't, we barely popped it open. So definitely two is the best way to do it. What I'm a little confused about is we are $70 off of having a support Chinook. If we had the support Chinook, we could get some money and then maybe sell and buy that this big ace bomb here, the ground zero, and just go a little ballistic. So am I missing something here? Why are we $70 off? There's this one. Will this give us enough? I think we can only do it three times though, right? Yeah, you can only do it three times and we only end up with 18,860 right after. So I don't think more money's the answer. Oh my gosh, I sold the ice. You don't have to sell the ice. You just keep using the ice. Why didn't I think of that like two hours ago? Just don't ever stop. Imagine if we slowed it down too. We could be here literally to sit here all day. Oh my gosh, it's the ice. 10,000 damage before the first little bend in the road. That's it. That's it for sure. And we could forever and definitely freeze these ceramics. They can't go anywhere. Okay, so once we take him down, we can sell this guy. I don't think we even have to be fast about it. I don't even think so. I think we can sell this guy. Keep using this ability. Keep using this ability. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared now. Now I have to like jump away from it. Okay, so I'm gonna go bang, bang, bang. Okay, bang, 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 bang. Okay, okay, okay. Now just keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. That has to be it. This is like a crazy thing going on. I will never stop. I will never stop as long as I keep popping balloons. Oh my gosh. I think it might be bad though because we're going to go a little crazy, aren't we? Oh no. Okay. I screwed that one up. Oh, I think we need a different tower. Oh, so we got this side, but why is that side so bad? It's literally like broken now. Okay. So what about... No, a glue. I think we have to call this one dead. We got to try that again. All right. This time... We're gonna go with this guy. I'm just gonna do this. I think this should be okay. More than enough, right? And we could sit, yeah, we can sit here all day with this. This is so easy now. Let's make money while we're at it too. Oh my God, I love these kinds of challenges. If you just had unlimited abilities all the time, this game would be crazy. Imagine all the things you could do. Heck yeah, we're getting in over our heads today, boys. I looked at this challenge and it's a negative 1%. And then I clicked on the rules and it's around 96 with only $6,000. I imagine this is gonna get kind of crazy. So there's super entirely slow fortified Moabs coming out both directions and some crazy BFBs. Are those fortified as well? I mean, we only have like no money here. So we need something that attacks fast or maybe something that could just spread on everybody right at the beginning, huh? Something like that. Would that have broken them down? That does seem to break them down. So if we start that right at the beginning when things are just snail crawling, that might be something. Now I'm no expert, but I think adding the little acidic mixture dip will make it stronger against like Moab class and, you know, fortifieds and ceramics and all that kind of stuff, right? And we do have 20,000 lives to lose here. What if it's just this? What if it's glue gunner? It's always glue gunner. I swear to you guys. So far, that's a definite big fat no. We lost 20,000 lives that quickly. How many lives are actually in round 96? Is it, the, is it that many? So what about something like never miss targeting? This thing's cheap, it's effective, and it gets the job done. And then something else to pop the balloons at the end. We can go with, oh, we can't go with that, huh? But let's see what this one actually can do. Now we're just losing these ceramics like crazy. So obviously the Moab health is low, but the ceramic health is the same. So yes, we're taking down Moabs easily, but these ceramics are the same as they normally would and we only need $6,000. So the thing I think of first then, of course, would be recursive cluster. I mean, it has to be the only answer. If we use the power of deduction and reasoning, it was gonna take 20 years to get here. So what if we break it down in the meantime, like on the way here, we knock them down. So we'll go like this one, like that. Will that get him down enough to where this guy can clear out on his own? Oh my gosh, look how many hits that takes. Fortified is no joke, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna need to do something like freeze them or something. So what we'll do is we will exactly do that. We'll freeze them and we'll put this guy here. Now the problem I'm having is I don't have all day for this thing to get to the bottom of this. We're gonna have to wait a good 30 seconds. The anticipation is really killing me. I'm gonna throw a glue gun in here as well and see if that can do anything. It's only $235. Imagine if an upgrade costs $35. Imagine if there's a way to like cut price you pay. 
Like there are some monkey knowledge and stuff, but like what if a tower, well, I guess the discount village does that, but like a lot. Like what happens when you like go to turn it on and it's just like 20 bucks, everything's $20. We're having a flash sale. That's what'd be cool if like Gerard, Gerardo, <laughs> if Geraldo had like a flash sale ability where you hit the button and everything's like a fire sale. Now that would be cool. I can't believe I'm actually breaking down BFBs with little tax shooter but we lost 6,000 lives with just those fortifieds they were fortified so I'm hoping that the ZOMGs are a little better otherwise I think the reason why this thing has low win rates is because people just give up like obviously once they're frozen and glued we're in a good position here and nothing's really that big of a deal but until that point it's kind of scary so maybe we just have to break it all down I guess so this is working for sure just how are we gonna get those ZOMGs so with upgrading the tax it did take them down a lot but the problem is we're getting too many lives here lost I don't know what we're gonna do about these BF bees here i mean i imagine we could maybe get more glued down or go with like arctic wind maybe maybe just glue splatter maybe if we just glued more stuff down yeah that could be a thing here we go we're just reacting rather than challenging but i think we got this oh maybe not maybe not actually maybe not come on come on we only got ten thousand lives left here i think we could be able to take this if they can just blow some stuff up 2380 don't die don't die don't die there we go i don't know about you guys but that that worked out i mean we used deductive reasoning that worked out we got puzzle challenge and i I do love me some puzzles that's i mean that's all these challenges are really right round 58 it's an odd round to have a challenge on 70 percent mob speed and 2000 percent mob health let's check it out what we got we got some hearted over ceramics here and we got some moabs coming out with some crazy health so can we sticky bomb them it looks like we can't looks like we have a lot of money we could just sticky bomb everything right if we had enough to cover it so i'm thinking first shot here We'll go with this puzzle and we'll go with that puzzle and just go up to the top path. No way, right? Like it can't be that easy. Something else has to come out to make this like more difficult. Maybe the, the this guy actually makes it worse or something. Cause right now we only have Moabs left, which is a good thing, but there's no way we could beat this with like $30,000 left, right? Like we're doing something wrong. Maybe we don't want that one. Maybe we just want, hmm, I'm trying to think here. That's $40,000 though. We need to... <sighs> Sorry, the grunts, the grunts and noises help me think through these puzzle challenges, you know? So what if we, oh, we only get two towers. That's why. Okay. Cause I was thinking like, what if we just constantly do that? We just take everything out and then he just sits there and holds them all back. But I think the sniper mobs a little bit better at holding them all back. It's actually not bad. It's just think about it. Think of how long that would take if he could actually even stall them all out, which he cannot do. Oh, so what about ben Benjamin's Trojan? If we can get him up to that one, let's go to cybersecurity balloon Trojan right there. And then all we need to do is this one. Well, probably not that simple, right? Because if he Trojans them all, which I don't think he can Trojan all of them, or maybe he can, I don't know if we can actually pop them. We're gonna be here all day trying to pop these balloons. And we can't sell either. I was gonna say we could sell this guy. And if we did that, like he's not even taking him down a little bit. Like he's nowhere near to be found there. So does my boy Ben Trojan those guys? Okay, he does, okay. But now, oh, not those ones though. And we go right back to that crazy regrow rate. It stops us on the floor. But that was a good idea though. I feel like something along those lines. Now that guy's not gonna do much for us. I mean, maybe if we got like Heart of Oak, but we gotta tear down the Moab class, which is not gonna happen with Ball of Lightning. Like, let's be real about it. Maybe just something like this though. Maybe it actually is gonna do some damage to the Moab class. Nope, it just walks right out. Okay, so what if we get Master Bomber? What happens there and how much money? Oh, $950, whoop D on that one. That's crazy. Okay, maybe we can just glue some stuff. Oh, he's taking him out, he's taking him out. I mean, they're gonna go right right back aren't they oh no, no 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 okay we got him we got him no we didn't okay so he does take down the moab class really fast but not enough for it to matter so how about something like this then okay we know he swipes on any type of ceramic and then he's actually going through those ones so little trojan will trojan that could be oh we don't have enough for the trojan 770 come on a little bit more a little bit more there we go trojan i don't know that could be kind of silly huh maybe if he hits that first one no, he's not gonna hit that first one. Oh no, that would actually have worked right there. Now, if I place him all the way back here, is he gonna stay in the back and actually do what he needs to do or probably not? Like, I just want him to only hit that first one. So everything's Trojan. He should only attack that one. And he's it's in his range. He should be fine with it. Maybe we might actually get one Moab down. Okay, two? No, with that damage done? No, 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 no way. I went a little too far on my village, but I guess it doesn't matter if this guy can do it. No, he's just not good enough. He's not good enough either. Okay, what about Sniper and that guy? Because that could just hold him back there forever. 
So we'll place him right, well, just somewhere in the corner. How about just, just right there is fine. And then we'll just grab our sniper like that on strong. So bloom class, regardless of the regeneration rate does not matter with this boomerang. He's too good. But now we just need to be able to slow these guys down a little bit more. Maybe, maybe, uh oh, I don't think so though. I don't think so. There's not enough room for him to attack here. I mean, maybe, 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 but there's a lot of lives left in those balloons. We got some of them. Okay, all of them, all of them. Yes, okay, that's all we needed. I feel like there's definitely other ways to beat that one though. And if that wasn't a challenge enough for you, check out this video where we take on the boss Vortex where we cannot remove any corn on Cornfield. It's insane.